Hi everyone, in this video we'll be showing that any two n times n non-singular matrices are row equivalent. So in our previous lesson, we have learned about row equivalent classes. It means that they have the same same reduced echelon form so like let's say for a 2 by 2 matrix so let's say we let's consider a 2 by 2 matrix again so what kinds of what kinds of echelon form are they you have 1, 0, 0, 0, sorry, not this, because you have 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, A, 0, 0, where my a can be equals to any integer value like a is any real integer value like 0, minus 1, mi minus 2, 1, 2, etc. Or I can also get in this form like 1, 0, 0, 1. So these are my rule equivalent classes or the types of reduced echelon forms. So now let's show that any two n times n non-singular matrices have the same reduced echelon form. So let's now we assume n to be equals now we take n to be equals to 2 so hence let's think of two vectors so first one that I can think of is 1, 3, 0, 1, n, one, one, zero, one. Why are they non singular? Because as you can see from here, the determinant is not equal to 0. So, determinant here is 1 minus 0 equals to 1, therefore not equals to 0. Here also, 1 minus 0 equals to 1, which is therefore not equal to 0. So, hence, they are non-singular. And now, let's work out for the first matrix we make it to reduce echelon form so we have 1 0 3 1 so now this is already in echelon form already Why? Because every row has a leading entry and number one lies on the on the on the first row, the leading entry is just above zero. Excluding the bottom row. Okay. Let's make it to reduce echelon form first. So we pivot upwards. So we add three times of row two, minus three times of row two to row one. Hence zero. 1 so minus 3 times 1 equals to minus 3 minus 3 plus 3 equals to 0 and the same goes for this so minus 3 times 0 equals to 0 0 plus 1 equals to 1 so this is our reduced echelon form why because every row which has a leading entry for every row which has a leading entry of 1 1 is the only non-zero integer in this column and the same goes for these two 
So this is in reduced echelon form. Now let's work for this. So this is already in echelon form. Hence, you want to eliminate the coefficient here in the second column for the first row. So we pivot upwards. So 0, 1. So we add minus 1 times of row 2 to row 1. So minus 1 here, minus 1 times 1 is minus 1. Minus 1 plus 1 equals to 0. Same goes for here too. Minus 1 times 0 equals to 0. 0 plus 1 equals to 1. So this is in reduced form. Therefore, if you notice, this matrix and this mat reduced matrices are the same, which means that they are the same reduced form, and therefore they are said to be row equivalent. Therefore, we have shown that any two n times n singular matrices are row equivalent. So therefore, this is shown Thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions, feel free to drop me a comment and I will reply to your comment. Thanks so much.